Hi, this is Lindsay from Equip Me OT here to tell you how to install grab bars in a shower or tub surround that don't require any tools. So first things first, I'm going to tell you about the world's simplest, most inexpensive grab bar solution uh, that's quite popular, and that would be a suction cup grab bar. So these can be purchased just about anywhere. This one I grabbed off of Amazon for seven bucks, which is pretty inexpensive. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, they come in different sizes. This is the smallest size, basically the size of one hand. They do come in a longer one where you could use it for two hands or if you wanted to span a longer distance. But I recommend the smaller ones because they seem to hold a little bit better. So basically the important things to look for in a grab bar like this is that um, the rubber's in good shape. Obviously that's going to be the most important part to maintain the suction. Um, you're going to have these two clips. When they're down like this, it's in suction mode. When they're released like this, it's ready to be popped off of whatever it's attached to. So you're going to want these up when you go to install. This particular brand does not come with an indicator tab, but you will find others that have a small indicator tab on either side, which usually are red and green. Red when they're not attached to anything, green when they're fully suctioned to the wall. So this particular brand um, doesn't have that, so if you're using this type, you're going to have to test it with your with your hand, which is a little less safe, but still works. So um, we're gonna go ahead and install in this shower over here, which happens to have a smooth surround. These also work well in showers with tile. If the tile is large enough to fit this entire suction cup, it cannot overlap grout or it will not hold. Um, but th that being said, the tile has to be very smooth, just like the shower surround has to be completely smooth. You can see in this one, we have a few bevels. You wanna avoid those when you go to install. So the installation is very simple, very quick, but doesn't re does require a little bit of muscle. So you may have to have a little help if you're dealing with some strength issues. So basically you're gonna pick your spot on the wall where you want it, and you're going to press it in firmly until the rubber and the plastic are touching. At this point, you're going to press these little gray levers into place, which takes some doing, just like that. Um, now that it's in place, we're going to give it a little jiggle test and see that it's firmly attached. Everything looks good here. Um, I usually tell folks that they want to plan on re removing them, cleaning them, replacing them a couple times, uh, pretty regularly in fact, usually as much as every time they use the shower. But because they're so easy to do, it's not too cumbersome. The nice thing about these is when you're done, you just release the two and then pop them off and you leave no damage to your tub. So these are a really nice option for both the simplicity and the affordability. The second option that I really like is also pretty inexpensive. Um, it's called the Bathtub Safety Rail. This one is um, by Drive. It is going to give you about 14 and a half inches of height and it's going to attach to the tub. So this only works in setups where you have a tub uh, shower combination. Um, and so this one is going to rise up to about 14 and a half inches and it's going to be able to attach to a tub with a width of three inches to seven inches. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Pop it out of the box and voila, these are pretty darn sturdy. Um, it consists of a clamp on one end which has some rubber on it to help it hold in place as well as protect your tub. If you do have a porcelain tub or an older tub, it is important to make sure that that rubber's in good condition if you're using one of, getting one of these secondhand. Um, and I often add a little bit of extra padding using those rubberized shelf liners to it, and that will help protect the tub as well. So these are extremely simple to install, um, really require very little effort, but you need to decide where you want it in your tub. Uh, in this particular bathtub, because I have this glass surround, my options are slightly more limited. In this situation, I'm gonna put it towards the back of the tub. Um, so what you're going to do is make sure your clamp is open wider than your tub and you're just going to set it in place. I also have this rail here and, and it's going to get in the way a little bit but not enough to um, make this not a functional piece of equipment. Little caveat, if you are somebody who has physical limitations and you're having to add equipment to your shower, Glass surrounds make it really, really difficult. So I highly recommend considering removing the glass surround, putting in a standard sh um, shower curtain, to save you a lot of headaches. But in this situation, I have this. All I'm gonna do is attach it with the clamp. And 
you're just going to go hand tight. You don't want to go too crazy with it because it is going to, you know, put some pressure on your tub. Once it's in place, give it a little jiggle, make sure it's not going anywhere. You can see it has two different grab points. It has a low one and a high one. The high one's great for stepping in and out of the tub, whereas the lower one works pretty well if you're down in the bathtub taking a soak, and then you need to get yourself back up. So for a lot of folks, that's a challenging task, and they have eliminated taking baths because they can't get back out. Well, this does offer you an option. So you can grab on here when you're down in the tub or up here when you're stepping in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up and just do a demonstration on how I'd use this. So I'm simply gonna hold on here. Now I have this support structure here that I can step in and out of. It's pretty common to see these paired with a suction cup grab bar and that's perfectly functional for a lot of folks. They've got two points to grab then and it's much more stable. Um, like I said, you have this point down here to grab if you're down all the way in the bottom of the tub. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and step back out just like that. So it's a nice stable option. No tools required. I haven't had to do any damage to my walls. If I'm, if I'm renting, that's often not an option to add grab bars. So this is a great solution in those situations. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave that in the comment section and please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you.